One fine day in the middle of May, the ladybird went on holiday. She flew to the town to see the sights, the streets and the shops and the bright, bright lights. She saw the parks and the palace too, then off she flew to visit the zoo. And the crocodile snapped, and the tiger growled, the lion roared, the monkeys howled. The elephants trumpeted. Hmm, said the camel with the great big hump. The hyena laughed. The hummingbird whirred. The ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men she already knew. They were Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh. And she heard them chuckle. We're going to kidnap Monkey Joe. We'll hide till there's no one else about. Then we'll pick the lock and we'll get Joe out. And if we give him lots of fruit, he'll do the job and he'll take the loot. The palace isn't far at all. Monkey Joe can scale the wall. He'll find out where the queen's asleep. Then tiptoe into her room he'll creep. He'll open the sack and steal the crown. We'll soon be the richest men in town. The little spotty ladybird told the animals what she had heard. The crocodile snapped, and the tiger growled. The lion roared, the monkeys howled. The elephants trumpeted, hmm, said the camel with the great big hump. The hyena laughed, the hummingbird whirred, and all the animals, feathered and furred, said, But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into the monkey's ear. Then straight away the ladybird flew to the palace and had a word with the queen's two corgis, Willow and Holly. Yes. And both the dogs agreed to do just what the ladybird told them to. At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, checked there was no one else about. Then they picked the lock and they got Joe out. They carried him off to the palace gate, gave him a sack, then lay in wait. They watched him scale the palace wall, and they muttered, careful not to fall. Then they rubbed their hands as they saw him creeping into the room where the queen lay sleeping. Corgi Holly and Corgi Willow, who lay each side of the Queen's soft pillow, were wide awake and they said to Joe, Come on, monkey, off we go. They led the way while the Queen still slept and they showed young Joe where their bones were kept. Then they helped the monkey fill the sack and they wagged their tails as he carried it back. And the crocodile grinned and the tiger pranced. The lion leapt, the monkeys danced, the elephants trumpeted. Hooray, said the camel with the great big hump. The hyena laughed, the hummingbird whirred, but the ladybird said never a word. <laughs>